the all-star app, the number one app in the business, UFC, Bellator, One Championship, PFL, and more. Get the app right now. Link in description. How you been, man? How's life? How's the kids? You got a bunch of kids. How's the kids, man? Oh, shoot. Good. I mean, sometimes it takes you a while to mature, and I think I think we're in the right direction now. <laughs> I'm a fourth kid, and I just, I don't know, I feel like I feel feel much different um, about everything. Like, the, the fourth child, I mean, just the this labor every everything just um i would change my approach on life and then like just even the fight game i just feel like i'm turning a corner it, and it's i think everything in life has helped me what do you mean by you know change changing your perspective on life you know four kids i only have one man you have four yeah, yeah. um you're like a superhero to me i mean shoot i'm only 27 and so it takes a while to mature i, I would say and some, some guys take faster than others. And I think I've matured fast along the way, right? Going through everything that I've gone through. But I think it just it, it just helps speed up the process in maturing. That's I think that's more so it. It's just speeding up that process. Uh, you gotta, you're learning, you're learning quick. And everything that I've been through, like the past couple of years, right? With, with, my, with my job, with the way with the fight game and what I've seen along with what I've seen behind the, from my job. Um, it has helped me just just grow and just approach everything different, approach everything better. You're back in Hawaii, man. Did you move back to Hawaii? I I did just I did to kind of resettle resettle my family back in Hawaii with the welcoming my uh, fourth child. But I mean, my my plans of going back to Vegas are, are still there. Still, um, everything is still um, open. Um, bring my I just wanted to bring my kids back home, give my wife a little bit more at ease with any little help we can get you know um and she's she's all for she's all for the for the fight game so i mean me going away it's um you know that that's all that's that's on the table me going away for camps me going away for stuff like that that's all on the table and it's part of the it's part of the plan uh coach coach eric is going to be with us in in connecticut um yeah it was just making my home um stable home um home for my wife and kids now that we've seen none of it i i've i've you know i've packed up and went to vegas and kind of seen that um and seen what i like and then now that she's she's you know she's 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 done it it's it's easier to okay let's go back home you know i now i know what what, what we know what to expect everywhere what we want out of out of the fight game as well and yeah we're, we're not closing the door on anything um especially moving back away what it was just um but yeah the fourth kid kind of like yeah you know what let's it's like all the kids are young right now let's get them back home let's, let's kind of make it home home and then if i when i travel i travel um so it's but they're home you know yeah but it must be nice to have the you know the extended family there with the kids cousins oh, yeah, that, uncles that, all that it's oh it's a good environment for them right it's that, way better yeah, that's, I mean, that's that's exactly what it what it is that's that's why that's why we did it. You know, it's the in betweens that we needed to help with the training. Um, back back in Vegas, I was, you know everything is always train train train, and then my I had a I had family there, but it's only my my grandma, grandpa, and like a, a cousin, and then now of course a bunch of good people around me with um, Hawaiians around in Vegas, but nothing like your you know you know your family. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. And and it, when your home life is good, man, it it affects your your work in in works, a better yeah. way. Um, exactly, and that's that's what I, that's what we wanted out of it. Um, so if I do travel for training, I do travel for anything else. At least I know they're home, they're safe. Yeah. Uh, my wife got a lot more help, and that that's what I wanted out of it. So training in in Hawaii, it's basically what you've been doing before you went to Vegas, right? You're just back at it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Ba it's it's uh it's like a 2.0 version because, right? I um, I I I got to ex um, ex exposed to different things, um, but I'm back home with the people. I like, you know I trust a lot of the um I I trust them wholeheartedly. Um, we just we click, and then not only that, I'm coming back with so much more knowledge, you know. So, and just exposed to a lot of different things to where. 
my my mind has matured my eyes have have seen a lot so um yeah it's it's much more intricate than last time you know or just prior to leaving for sure and and even you know your training partners and and the coaches you work with they all have evolved during your time yeah. away as well right exactly and which is that's that's why i feel like it wasn't a step back i got i get came home with with a lot of new like um info data you know just on just on the game and then as what well, I, I mean every everybody else has leveled up too so it's kind of the same you know it's, it went both ways and i just feel re, like rejuvenated i feel like um it's everything has helped me like turn turn a corner um you know just the uh, welcoming the, <laughs> the fourth kid um it's the what's well, going to be almost 6 months off um and then now it's going to be my next fight and i just i don't know i feel a lot, i feel a lot different you know cliche to say like feel like you know, the, the best you've ever felt but I, I i really do i i think um people got to go through stuff to mature or and and just you know speed um the process and i just think things that i went through with um fighting and my home life helped speed up the process you're talking like you're 37 but you're only 27 you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I that's, that's what you want, right? That you want to freaking learn as much as possible yeah. as soon as possible. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's rewind back to your last fight against Justin Gonzalez, man. A split, split decision loss. Thoughts on how that fight played out? If you ask me, if you ask me, like, I mean, I'll, immediately I'd say, ah, I won, I won, I won. You know, I think I won. And I still think I won. But now you kind of look at I kind of look at it that way obviously because i lost I, and so i was like what i gotta do to stop this like to stop this stint of of like ambiguity you know like this the weirdness of, or like the the close cause what i gotta do i just got and and because i already work hard i already do all these i already do all the things that i need to it was just like i gotta i gotta look at the the game in more detail you know i gotta What's when when nothing's happening during a fight? What what's happening? Who has the attention? And I need to, I I gotta, um, and that's the things that I've been paying attention to, um, during this time off is like right, like that this gotta stop. Like for you know what I mean? Like for me, like that's just what I've been saying. Like this gotta stop. Like I cannot be getting these close call, like losing these close calls, getting half my paycheck taken away, and um, yeah, it's, it's upsetting, but. Only I can control. I, I have a lot more. I can I control most of it. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I maximize every little practice, every little, every little thought that goes into it, a little effort. Um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's been a frustrating time, but that's all I could do is take a positive and freaking just get better during this time. The positives of it is that you know the judging and the judges. I, I'll say it like most of the time it's trash, right? And you've experienced right. it yourself. But the people that watch the sport, they support you. Like yeah. even like the media scored it for you. You know what I mean? And people thought yeah. you won the fight. Uh, nothing against Gonzalez, but you know that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, nothing against him because it's a tough. I mean, competitive fight, but it's just like man, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. But you know, then you then you know, I gotta dig deeper. It's like okay, so what I gotta do? Forget that one more number or those two other people right on my side and it's like i gotta um I, I don't know what it is but i gotta freaking just maximize every opportunity so when i'm in there i the output is there everything else is there and i've done i can make sure i've done everything possible you know it's like um i'm not leaving any doubt or i'm not like uh whatever but it's like man i gotta i gotta make sure every little practice is like taking into account on any little situation if when nothing's happening, I gotta draw the attention to me in a fight like this. You know what I mean? That's that's the thing. Um, it's almost like like I always I've, I've been saying like it's like when the like you have a class clown, right? When nothing's happening in the room, who is everybody paying attention to? The class clown. That's you. You know, it's um you gotta you gotta draw the eyes on you on for majority of that fight, and that's the thing that I've been paying attention to the most right now. You were supposed to come back at Bellator 283. What happened with that situation? Um, yeah, so preparing for that fight, I moved home. So I had like, I had like four weeks into that fight. Um, after moving home, and I don't, you you you've moved around this world, and 
yeah, it was it was it was four weeks, so I felt like it was enough time. But I um, so I got right into the, I didn't skip a beat with training, and like the day I landed, I was back in the gym over here. But um, no, I, I training was going well, and then one one day we were we were doing like sprints after like a hard tra- uh, resting session, and then like like I tweaked my knee, I sprained my MCL, um, and then. I tried. I tried like the next few days on 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 kind of pushing it, and it was like two weeks out of the fight, and it was um it was just kept bugging. So they, yeah, I got pulled from the fight. And the guy that you're facing coming up at Bellator 289 is you're the guy me. that yeah the guy that yeah. stepped in on short notice against uh, Magomedov. Yeah. Now, um, when you look at Kevin Baum, what do you see, man? What type of style do you see? Uh, I I see. You know, I, I, you know, it's funny because you asked me, you asked me this question over the years for every opponent, and it's like, I, it's hard to, hard to like say. I'm not gonna nitpick on anything Kevin, Kevin does, but I just feel like I'm better. <laughs> like you know, like he, he's, um, anything that he can do, I can do better, and I, and I feel like that. I, I feel like that in all my fights, um, which is which kind of which which keeps me up at night. Like, cause why? Cause obviously I haven't haven't beaten them all for some reason, right? And so now I just like I kind of I don't want to leave um, leave no doubt in anybody's mind on if they wrote the right score or if or when time runs out or anything. It's like I just I watched him. I watched that last fight and I watched like a few other fights of him and I just felt like man, I'm on a I'm on a different level. Um, and, um it's uncomparable. And that's 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 just what I feel, and so now I just gotta do do the best that I can, or do everything that I know I can in every aspect, um, in my full game of wrestling, grappling, striking, and I think uh, I'll be okay. You know, I'll, and I feel like I'll always be I'll, I'll always be okay. Um, but I I feel like I I've held myself back in like certain fights with my own ego. With my own ego, it's like um. I try to fight only one way and prove only one way, you know. Um, in the in the UFC, it was like uh, after that that first fight, it kind of got you know, it's addicting. Like you get that fight on the fight on the night bonus. Um, you start looking at the fight card and you're like, I'm the most exciting guy on this card. Like I literally would do that. I would look at this fight card and be like, What are my chances of getting this bonus? You know. Um, uh, the way we get paid, should, I mean, that bonus does help, you know. Um, and I'd, I'd kept, I'd always, I would always do that every fight. Jonathan Pierce, I did that. Took the fight on seven days notice. Um, I remember uh, the T.J. Brown. I did this. I did that the same thing. Danny Chavez did that the same thing. It was like, I'm the most exciting guy on this card. I can make it. I can. I know I can be the most exciting fight on this card. And. <laughs> It, um, I remember Cody Garbrandt told me, man, it's uh, you gotta watch out because that that um that performance bonus is uh, I mean the fight night is, is that 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 bonus check gets addicting. It's like it's almost like you're entitled to it. Like you start, you know, you're like I'm the most exciting guy. This is mine to lose, you know. And that's kind of that's kind of what it was. Um, but you and you you know, there's a lot of factors that go into it. It's like you, you wanna you wanna entertain the crowd, you wanna take care of your family, you know, freaking so. The, and I just I I was fighting my ego in a lot of those fights in in those kind of ways like oh this guy's not gonna I gotta be the most entertaining I gotta so what is that people think oh only stand stand and bang or stand up sprawl and brawl you know what I mean and I'm, I wrestled in college I I I do everything I treat the sport right I do every facet of the sport but why am I only gonna stand stand you know like sprawl and brawl it's just so stupid to me. I always, I've been thinking that like I, like the past couple of months. Like how stupid is that to only think like that? This is the world of MMA where, and the way it is now, the the, um, where the game is at. It's like, it's it's much more than that now. You know what I mean? So it's like freaking. That's the part I feel like I've gotten, I've just matured so fast. Cause it, it would have took me a long time. I don't know how long it would have took me to realize that or to stop fighting with my ego like that for for the different reasons that I was. It's good that you're young and and you and you just explained why you're maturing, right? Because yeah. you could get caught up in that and it could ruin your career. Like it, it's exactly. ruined some dudes' careers. And 
Yeah, no, I, I watch fights. I watch fights nowadays, and I'm like, man, this guy's way better than that. This guy's way better than that. And it's not, and, and people won't even see it, you know, because I, I, I even watch fights from a different perspective. Like, you, you, um, they close, like, a lot of us, we close ourselves off to only certain skill sets during a fight. Um, because we, you know, we're trying to do only certain things. But I know these guys, I trained these guys alongside these guys in the gym, or I know, I know them. I they, and they or I just know them as a fan and they were better than that. But they're fighting only one certain way, or or they fight like like or they gotta be entertaining. You know, it's it, it would have killed me. It would have killed me if I didn't go through all this. You know what I mean? If I went to the top fighting like how it was and I was winning. I mean, if I got past Jonathan Pierce, I mean, we would be in a different spot right now. Mm. You know, I was like, um, for better or worse. I mean, it's it. I I what I went through. It's it's helped. You know, it, I'm I'm in a good spot now mentally, and. Adversity, I mean, adversity helps, man. Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> if, sure. Depends how, if you use it, it, it can help you. Man, you've been through a lot. We've been talking for a long time. I yeah, know exactly I, what you've been through. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird because I mean, you're from, like that's from the beginning too. Like my first Bellator fight, and then how things have changed. I've grown. I I tremendously during that time. Like from fight to fight to fight. Um, from UFC, I've gotten. I feel like I've I've shown more every fight but i feel like um i've never used it all you know <laughs> like um, i've never i mean you look at the first two times like the first two bellator fights um you know i i i what is that called i took them down ground and pound the first bellator fight then went to then ufc totally different fighter totally different fighter only showed a uh, whole new skill set but never used it all you know what I mean? And the Justin Gonzalez fight went back to Bellator. He, uh, looked better, but didn't use it all. Didn't use the grappling, didn't use the wrestling. And so it's like, I know I've only shown glimpses of my skill sets in each of those fights, but I've always gotten, I've always gotten better. And I just feel like now, now I gotta, I just gotta, I gotta be free. You know, like, there's nothing like, there's always pressure, but I gotta, I just gotta be, go in there and use every, every tool. You know, it's like it's like being like a handyman. It's like being like the best handyman, like you know, like like recommended handyman, like on Yelp or whatever review board. But then you get called and you're like, you go to the job site and then you're like, ah, you know what? I gotta go. I gotta I gotta go home. I forgot my tools. Yeah, I forgot that tool. You know what I mean? I can't finish the job today. It's like this. It's like that. Like that. Like if you're the best, you got. You, if you're the best, you gotta you gotta be able to do it all. You know what I mean? And you can't just you can't leave your tools at home. You know, like, like, what is the point if it's at home? And that's that's what I've been thinking about. Like, man, it's like, it's exactly what it's being like. like you cannot be. You, what what you good is it if being, being good at everything if you're not gonna show it? You know for what sure, I mean? For sure, man. Yeah, I'm excited to see see what's to come, man. In this fight, um, December 9th, Bellator 289. If you wanna know more about the event or about Kai, go download the All Star app in the descriptions. Kai, appreciate the time, man, and. Uh, it, it's probably lovely being back in Hawaii, man. It's always beautiful out there. It is. It is. I, I'm glad to be back. Um, me and my wife, um, Jeremy, Jeremy Kennedy, he's been, uh, he's, he's, he's been telling me about um, Thailand, and we're actually, we're, we're planning to go out there too, soon too. So my wife's excited to go out there. <laughs>